Marcus Ayers here, Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver. From Dallas, Texas, I want to shout out to Fanatics View for giving me the opportunity to do an interview. Best memories of the University of Houston? Well, I had to say best memory is playing in the Peach Bowl. Um, 100,000 people, sold out crowd. Um, on a big stage. Um, playing against what, the second round pick of the, of the draft. Uh, and having a chance to go and compete against him. Um, it was just a fun experience. My last college game, didn't really know what was going to happen. Um, I had intentions of declaring for the draft, um, but didn't really know um, until after the game. So I just think that whole experience was was just crazy. And then also winning the conference championship the game before that. Um, couldn't, have, couldn't have had a better year. Um, so in terms of best best experience at University of Houston, I think that one's up there. Coming out of Houston, obviously, you know, seventh round pick. So have you felt a chip on your shoulder at all? Uh, well, yeah, had to have a chip on my shoulder, you know, going in, having a, having a lesser opportunity than any any other guy, um, other than being undrafted, to make the roster, um, had to prove people right, prove people wrong. Um, just my, my opportunities were limit of even just having an opportunity to be on the 53-man roster. Um, so I was always had a chip on my shoulder in terms of that and then all the teams that passed on me. Um, growing up where I'm from, people believing in me. Some people didn't believe in me. So pretty much my whole life I've had to have a chip on my shoulder and it's just been amazing just to have success at every level I've ever played on and just continue to prove people wrong. What was the call like hearing the Steelers and uh, what, what, was, what was your first year been like with, with the Steelers as well? Uh, hearing that call, man, that call really – that's, that was an amazing day in terms of just all the hard work that I put in. It's paying off. Um, seeing how proud my family were and happy they were to even have that experience of being that close to someone, um, being in the NFL, and knowing that I did it all to better to better myself, but most importantly, better better them. Um, that was that was a great feeling. And then in terms of being a Pittsburgh still just the rich tradition that they bring. In terms of you know most Super Bowls won, um, and just being a part of that organization and all the players that have came, came through there and been great. Um, every time you mention the Pittsburgh Steelers, everyone talks about the Six Lombardi Trophy. So um, it's been exciting playing for them. You know when you look at a guy like Antonio Brown, you know six round pick yourself seventh round pick on your own roster you you know you see what's possible you know it doesn't matter where you get picked almost essentially so does that motivate you and like has he been uh, is there any I guess what's the best advice he's given you so far oh it motivates the heck out of me you know every single day I'm getting to work with a guy that has you know pretty much defeated every odd there is and then you have myself who games is almost similar um, if not identical, um, same body type, same kind of guy, same path, grew up in kind of the same area, um, had to just prove people wrong pretty much um, his whole life. So having to, having to be able to work with him uh, hands on every single day and see his work ethic and how he grows as a person, as a football player, the professionalism that he brings to the building every single day is is just contagious. It rubs off on everyone, and it's just been a blessing and an honor to really just work alongside of him, and it's helped my game grow because he's a guy that just high energy. He loves the he loves the game. He loves to compete. Um, he makes everyone around him better, and this that's those are the things that have been able um, that I've been able to do to help my game elevate and help my team game. Uh, teammates game elevate pretty much my whole career every level I've been on so I know what it takes is just now being on a professional stage and learning what it takes from him every single day is just making me better every single every single time I step on the field what about uh, what about Le'Veon Bell what's it been like uh, being a teammate of his and being around a guy uh, like that you know pass yeah. catcher running back combo you know uh, it's been awesome you know Le'Veon is a guy that is just when he walks in a room, his energy, his presence is felt. Um, he's probably one of the most humble, humble guys I've ever been around. Um, in terms of just having superstar potential, one of being one of our best guys on the team. Um, everyone goes so hard for him every single down that he's that he's on the field. Um, and then his workload, you know, for him to be able to impact the game every single time 
he touches the ball, guys are holding their breath, waiting for something big to happen. Um, and this is fun being out there with him, with him, uh, blocking for him, you know, talking to him on the sidelines, um, telling him, "Hey, man, come my way," or "Hey, this is what I seen. I think you could have made this cut the same way you're doing practice every single time." So it's just crazy just playing alongside of him, and, and sometimes he come and tell us things. And me, I'm playing with Le'Veon, playing with Le'Veon Bell, and he's and he's allowing me to give him insights of his game and what I've seen. So. Uh, Miss Unique, man, just, just to be able to play with so many great players, but it's, it's you know, especially him with him being one of the best backs and just kind of having respect for his peers and willing to just take um, anything away from the game um, possible. So, you, have you listened to his rap album? Is that is that something that's going to get bumped <laughs> in the Steelers locker room this year? <laughs> uh, I have listened to his rap album. Uh, he's he's a guy. He he like to freestyle every single time. Uh, he's around the crowd or every team around, every every time. That's what he likes to do. That's his hobby. Um, but we really don't listen to his music a lot in the locker room. We really don't play a lot of music in the locker room. So when we step yeah. inside those walls, it's kind of pretty much business. What about catching balls from, from Big Ben? Is What's been his best advice uh, so far uh, for, from Big Ben? Um, it's been cool. You know, you watch people on TV for so long, um, especially one of the greatest quarterbacks that ever played a game. Um, and I remember watching Ben when I was sixth grade, seventh grade, and now that I'm in the NFL, um, catch your balls from him, it still seem unreal. Um, so getting advice from him all the time on a regular day basis, it's, it's, it's different. You know, it's weird sometimes just because you just don't believe it, you know, until you're in that moment. But, um, you know, you wait for so long to get inside the huddle to get the huddle and have an opportunity to even, you know, take reps with Ben. And then when you get in the huddle, you're nervous as hell. So. Uh, it was a it was a different experience, you know, being the quarterback, well, being in the huddle with the quarterback, uh, like Big Ben, my first time ever hearing a play from him, and then hearing the play, and notice trying to process everything he said at one time, it was unreal. So uh, he had to help me get lined up and tell me the whole play again. So it was it was a different feeling. Um, and then in terms of just taking coaching from him, I could just remember on you know, my first game being out there with him, he was so calm and confident in me. And it's just crazy because I haven't played all season long. I've had injuries that like, prevented me from playing. And then my first game, you know, in a big game, game um, game pushing for a playoff spot. Um, and him being able to throw to me on, on the last position in the game that led us to, to that touchdown, it was unreal. You know, I remember going up to him and telling him, hey, man, I, I, I appreciate you trusting and believing me in this, in this particular moment because, you know, I could have been wide open and you could have went to one of your main targets. And, you went, you know, to the to the best available option at that time, and um, you trusted in me, and I came through for you. And he just, I remember him telling me, "This, that's what brothers do. That's what we do as a team. We make each other better, and you were right where you needed to be. And let's let's grow from here." Um, he told me, "Don't don't get complacent. Just keep going every every week. Let's get our chemistry together so we can go ahead and you know try to win this, try to win the championship." So it was cool hearing all that from Big Ben, and and the, and we just clinched the playoffs and. Anymore. Emotions are everywhere, and this is my first game, so they know what it been, they know what it takes to be in that moment. And me here, I am. I'm just you know playing my first game on Christmas. Um, my family's in town. I'm just excited to be out there. And, and uh, but I understood, I understood the situation. I, I understood the moment, and it was just um, a proud moment for me to be um, you know in that moment with those great players in that situation. Um, it just meant everything to me. Amazing, amazing. Pretty sure it was Landry Jones for your first TD, not Big mm -hmm. Ben, but, but can you take us through that first TD, what that felt like? Uh, oh, it, it was an awesome feeling, you know, you go, I would like to say I went all season long without scoring a touchdown, um, and then here it is, my second game. Um, and I had already caught it, I told AB and all the guys, I'm like, man, you know, whenever I get my opportunities this game, which I know they're gonna be a lot more than what it was last game, which was my first game, Mom, first game, I'm going, I'm going to score a touchdown, and they was like, man, you got it, like you've been working so hard, why not? You know, why not go, go, go take everything and every opportunity that they give you. So every time I tried to touch the ball, every time I got the opportunity to touch the ball, I was looking to make a play, and we just happened to call a great play. I was able to get in space um, and beat my guy off, off a rub route, and um, just kind of, you know, out. I ran him to the end zone, and it was just an amazing feeling. I literally just probably, I literally almost just walked into the end zone. So 
Um, it was fun, man. It was just a whole experience, you know, mom's first game, Christmas, uh, New Year's, uh, bringing in the new year, and here I am scoring a touchdown. So um, it just felt unreal again. Um, but, hey, I had worked for everything, and it was just a proud moment, you know, to be able to experience that. My mom be able to experience that in her first game and also help us give, give gave us a chance to win the game. So it was Absolutely. fun. Uh, you know, there, there seems to be a real uh, brotherhood with the Steelers. Uh, um, what what is it like playing for Coach Tomlin? What is what is Coach? What has it been like uh, with, with Coach? Uh, it's it's been it's been cool. You know, uh, one of the most winning coaches in, in NFL history. So it's cool playing for Coach Tomlin because he's always really up front. He loves competition, um, which is great for me. Um, I just like the energy he brings to practice. The way he. Um, interact with his players, his impact on our, on our team. Um, the Roonies love him. You know, the whole organization love him, and everyone always have his back. But if you be around a guy for for a little while, you understand why. Um, he's just a great, great individual, and it's, and it's and it makes it easy for the players to go out and play for coaches like that. When you walk away from the game one day, like what what do you want said about you? What do you wish to accomplish? Uh, I want to be a champion, um, NFL champion. Um, I want people to say I was a great teammate, um, a great player, um, a guy that was willing to sacrifice anything to win. Um, I, my work ethic was unbelievable. Um, I showed up to to be the best every single day, and I competed um, every single day. So um, if those things are said about me whenever I'm able to walk away from the game, um, that'll be that'll be a great feeling. Ha, 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 ha.